That's Christy Martin, apart from many of her competitors, is her ability to throw a real left hook. Nancy Stewart, thank you very much. Good to have you in studio tonight with Brian Kenny and Lucia Riker. She is so fatigued, she can't get any leverage. And she stopped this. And she's going again and through the ropes in this fight. But everybody, everybody right. in, in the women's oh, game. Oh, big yep. right hook again! Gorilla As is usually the case in these instances, there are... Con of ten wins, one loss, and one draw. She has four wins coming by way of knockout. This standing record includes 40 wins, two losses, and two draws, with 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please. Times. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Went through his introductions, and she slips a left jab and begins... Action. Sometimes you... It's Christy Martin, apart from many of her competitors, is her ability to throw a real left hook. And she follows up a left hook with a right cross there to knock Hall onto her butt. Oh. To say, I'm not sure I've been hit like that before, and Kenny Bayless has seen it up. Is the count of ten, the winner by way of knockout, the women's pound-for-pound pound champion, the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. I wonder who... Her professional record, 17 victories, 15 defeats, two draws, and three wins coming by way of knockout. Her professional record, an excellent one. 25 victories, only one defeat, one draw. She has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. My commands at all times to protect yourselves. Touch them up. So it's important for the women. Oh, oh nice there's a right, right here. That rock barula. Yeah, the ropes held her up. Nice short right hook. Right on the chin. And Serrano jumps right on her. Fights comes into play here. There's a right hook. I agree. She's still there's not over here, Steve. Right. Oh, another right hook. But he is in trouble. 30 seconds. But everybody, everybody right. in, in the women's oh, game. Oh, big yep. right hook again. Gorilla's basically out on her feet. Ten seconds, and that's it. The Serrano. Impressive, impressive, impressive. Your WBO World Featherweight Champion. Your winner by TKO and the new WBO Featherweight Champion of the World. Weighing 132 pounds, she is undefeated in one professional bout. That win coming by way of knockout is undefeated in four professional bouts. All four wins coming by way of knockout. On it for Lucia Riker, who as Dr. Corey mentioned had a extensive kickboxing career in Chevelle Hall. Well, she knows that Riker has the big reputation. She would like to change that. Come right out after her, and Hallback is unafraid. Well, the good job. a little stunned by that onslaught. Oh, Hallback and actually gets up punching. <laughs> Something, it seems like she's chip. I'm sure that really threw the seat off balance. These are two-minute rounds. Ladies boxing, and it's... Lucia is starting to take over. Coming up the ring. You can't get the scatter reports. Nice right. The first normal start to a round. would like to meet up with her. <laughs> herself on her. Keep the arm. Good uppercut by Riker. Hit close. People knew it, and Riker's people didn't. Chance to put this thing away. Oh, good right hand by Riker. Stop. Many feet here. Good combination at the bell by Riker, and Hallback still fighting back and staying up. Punches. Combination. Then there's a left hook by Riker, and she's close to finishing it now. And now it goes She is so fatigued, she can't get any leverage in the stop this. But she's going right. again and through the ropes, and this fight is over. Lucia Riker has faced the test here tonight and passed the test. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Lucia Riker. Undefeated in 11 professional bouts with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. She has the power, but has worked hard on technique. Yeah. Riker, the WIB under her belt. Yeah. 
can't be an Argentina. She rips off the right hand. The theory is that most kickboxers only use their... Riker has not set punch numbers through two rounds. And there's Rice stepping in with that shot. There's the hook. See now she's she's getting leverage on it. But a cook. See there and more punches. Has continually closed the deal. Oh, nice overhead right by the middle air that sometimes she makes a match. She got cook. not bending at the waist when she throws the hook. She's standing too straight up and getting no leverage in those Johnny Callis. And I'll bet you if I really push, now here comes Riker on the attack. Put a feeling that power, I think, now. There's a beautiful hook by. For their playoff lives, tied with the Mexico Giants in the subplot, and Acuna goes down. Here near the end of round number five. Sing from a left to the, no the way, bell babe. in any round. Yes. And that is it. Acuna is ruled out at the end of round five. And Lucia Riker is now 12 and 0. When she does nine. lose a fight, it's going to be against someone who's undefeated. And see what they can come up with. Eddie, you're number one on your Geiger. Round number two, they are scheduled. night fights from Phillips Arena in Atlanta. Allowing them to be a slow enough pace. Well, she hurt the diamond on the mat for the 10 second one and thought it was the belt. Her advantage, kept good position. Now she's landing the punches at will. She can go home. And that old one two just scored moments ago and she's closing out this fourth. So look at herself. This is very difficult for us. Ali now behind that jab, trying to put those for middleweight champion in the world. Now in round number six. The punch that your mind does not have time to. A former tough woman competitor. He's not used to having some. Stewart, thank you very much. Good to have you in studio tonight with Brian Kenny and Lucia Riker. And Ali just swarming all over Geiger. And, and George Chip is going to pick. He's no. there to protect the fighter, and he does just that, what I was hoping he would do, and I think... He is still the WIBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World!